So first of all, we've got the, the project file that's been opened. Um, and just in terms of terminology to start with, first of all, we've got our data view here. Um, and at the moment, we've got a satellite image mosaic of the world. Now on the left hand side here you can see where it says layers, we've got a number of um, different layers listed here. Now this in general is called our table of contents and you'll see that also referred to in the notes as the TOC for table of contents. Now the first thing that you know with this thing, with the table of contents, is that you can tick layers on and off. So at the moment you'll see that there's a tick next to world um, and that's just representing this, this satellite image mosaic here. So if I, if I turn that tick off by clicking on it, the world um, image disappears. So I can tick that on and tick that off as I like. And I can also tick other options on as well. So these are different layers that I've included into this project file. And so as I, as I tick them on, you'll see different um, bits of information appear in the map window. Okay, so the one that I've just ticked on there is looking at some um, populated places. Um, we've got individual countries, continents, um, and tectonic plates there as well as the background satellite image. So the idea with this is, first of all, just become familiar with ticking on and ticking off your different layers so that you can visualize your data. Now the other thing that you should note is that the order of the way um, things appear in your table of contents is actually quite important. So for example, we've got the world satellite image and the tectonic plates both switched on at the moment. I can see both of those. However, if I was to say left click on the plates and shift that below the world satellite image, I'll no longer be able to see that. So the way the, the order of the table, table of contents works is if you just imagine it's different layers in, uh, in a cake, if you like, or different curtains, that if something is below something else, then you can't necessarily see it. So we pop the plates back up on top of the world satellite image and we can see that again. So the same goes for the continent. If I was to shift that down below the world, I'll no longer be able to see it, even though I've got it switched on. So to be able to see it, I need to either move it above the world or to switch the world off there.